just walking along covering ground, trying to find a big muley buck. We just found an ancient old buck with so much character. What the heck was I thinking? I swear to you, I could see my reflection in his eyes. I truly am living the lifestyle I've always dreamed of. And not just a lifestyle, I'm sharing it with a gorgeous girl. And we share the same passions. A level of love you can't explain until you're a daddy. It's all of these things tied into a world that I live for, that we live for. A world filled with magnificent creatures and adventure. A world I just can't live without. He is unbelievable. Are you kidding me? Kawaii. How exciting was that? How exciting was that? Oh, he's so wicked. Hey, he just stood up and looked the other The moment we've been waiting for for so long. Better do it. Stealth Cam proudly presents Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey. When I think of hiking the hills in Saskatchewan with an archery muley tag in my pocket, there's one guy plastered in almost every memory. My best pal, Shane Hunter. This guy has been my wingman since I was five years old. This past fall started off with Shaner and I hunting new country, just like we did every season when we were kids. Just walking along covering ground, blue heron, trying to find a big muley buck country I've never hunted. It's a bad time of the year to learn. It's September 27th, I believe. And it's time of year when you learn that you should be out here in July and August doing your homework to know where to focus on a big buck. But I wasn't here. I was doing other stuff and I'm paying the price now, but I'm also gonna have fun hunting, exploring, and earning a big old mealy buck with my Bowtech. So Cody, he's getting older now. He's a, I don't know what you'd call him, like a computer nerd, I guess is the terminology we like to use. So he's soft, doesn't work out much, so now, I have to walk all the draws and push to try to kick a deer up for him because he's not really capable anymore. He'd probably go down after about a mile. We gotta go about two and a half miles, so there could be a giant in here and that's what we're banking on. It's been a while since we've seen a giant, so it might be a little overwhelming if we see one. How big is that little guy gonna be in a couple years? Wow. Matching double drop tines and a sticker out his left side and a typical frame that little bucks do not get. That's really cool. We need to find the one that made that one. And I would say we'd be in the potato chips. Where is he? Big old buck with him. Gotta keep looking. Beautiful, young, non typical, really 
pretty young buck. So nice to see. Gotta find his great uncle Bob, wherever he is. Shana and I only got to spend three days together before parting ways, but in that time we found some incredible young bucks, deer that I appreciate seeing every bit as much as an eight-year-old buck. It makes me so excited for the future. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Stealth Cam, Proven, Conquest Sense, the makers of Evercom, Vortex Optics, the force of optics, 10-point crossbow technologies, there is no substitute. Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology. Rage and Squincher. Once Shaner and I parted ways, I plan to spend some time with my good friends, Brian and Jaren Arguin, which takes us back to the first episode of the year when 13-year-old Jaren shoots the largest free-range melee to date with a crossbow. Jaren shot this buck at 24 yards with his 10-point, right in the heart. This memory has slid into one of my top 10 of all time for good reason. A moment filled with so much excitement, shared with great friends. After Jaron got his buck, I stuck around with his father Brian to keep hunting muleys for a few days. instant these two bucks went out of sight, we rushed after them over the hill, making sure not to lose them before bedding down. hurry so we left all of our gear behind and bedded them and now we've come back I've practiced I've taken a few shots with my prodigy and we're going to find him again hopefully he's in the same spot when we got back to where we bedded him down he was gone it made no sense it was three hours after sunrise and he was content where he was he had to be right under our noses somewhere after 20 minutes of scouring the terrain for antler tips in every direction, Brian picked up on what looked to be a rack under a little bush 200 yards away. It's gotta be him, eh? The sticker's on top. I bet if you added it up, I've spent a year of my lifetime waiting for big old bucks to stand on their own time. This particular situation took four hours before the tines we were fixated on started moving. Come on, big guy.
better back now. After all that time, we were starting at zero again. We spotted this buck at sunrise, and somehow it was 3 p.m., and we were still waiting for her chance. yards this buck locked onto us. I expected him to bolt, but he did the opposite. We were dead still in Mossy Oak. Instead of running, he decided to investigate, completely cementing us to the ground. I swear to you, I'm sure he could hear my heart beating. I could literally see my reflection in his eyes. He was so close. And he was licking his lips. He couldn't smell us. Never, Richie and I were dead still. He had to be four or five yards, maybe seven. I don't know. It felt like it was two yards. But I'm sure it felt a lot closer than it was just because how exciting it was. I can still see him. We're gonna get another chance. With the wind dying down and the light fading, this was a gamble, but I was in love with this deer and had to take another swing. risks that I knew I was taking, sneaking up to a buck at the end of the day with no wind and darkness coming. And we already bumped him once. Watching him run away, my mind flooded with shame. I instantly knew that I probably just annihilated our chances of finding him the next day, all because of being impatient. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Stealth Cam, Proven, Limb Saver, Products That Work, Mossy Oak, it's not a passion, it's an obsession. Diamond Archery, cutting edge innovations. Walker's Game Ear, protect it or lose it. Cooper Firearms of Montana and Heater Bodysuit. The next morning at daybreak, the million dollar question, where do you start looking for a buck that was going 40 miles an hour over the horizon at sundown the evening before? Where do you start? 
four hours after sunrise. Against all odds, I was staring at a very familiar set of tines in the weeds. We spotted the same buck from yesterday that was like four yards from us. And he's in a great spot, but there's no wind today. We're like starving wolves right now, so we're gonna hunt as hard as we possibly can. Only 40 yards from our boy, a two-year-old exploded out of the grass at our feet. I had no doubt in my mind the train had just derailed, but the big guy never flinched. How's that saying go again? You gotta be good to be lucky, or lucky to be good. Either way, we got a huge break. Absolutely incredible. Look at those stickers. That experience was out of this world. And I thought we were gonna sit there for an eternity and never get a chance at this buck. And to get this shot at 28 yards today at this buck with my prodigy, it's just a dream come true. It's truly what I live for. This buck represents everything that I love about giant old mealy bucks. There's nothing better in life than being a successful bull hunter. <sighs> he is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at this cool little sticker over here. Just a giant old buck. I have no idea how old he is, but I do know that his body is bigger than a stallion horse. He's huge. He's massive. He's got really massive beams. Look how big his back forks are. They're, they're incredible. One of the moments that I'm never, ever, ever going to let go of is this buck walking up to us to four yards yesterday. I've never had a deer, a big old buck such as this, walk right up to you, stare you right in the eyes and keep coming closer. And I remember thinking when he was walking up to us in that moment, I was thinking, okay, I don't even need to shoot this buck now. This moment, I, I can't wait to go home and tell Kelsey and Berkeley just about this experience, whether I shoot him or not. The stickers on this side, like they're, they're just right out of this world. They look like a cameraman Richie said, they look a lot like a tops on a red stag, how they get all crowned on top. And that's exactly what he looks like. 
this buck was out of this world exciting, Brian, but it wasn't any more exciting than that moment we shared with Jaron getting the buck with the 10 point crossbow too. Just a, just an off the charts few days in Southern Saskatchewan. A great family, great country, and great big old bucks. We're so lucky. I just wanna say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for your effort and everything that you've done for me. Thank you, thanks for coming. Well, happy for you. It's, it's been an honor to hang out with you and hunt big muley bucks here in Southern Saskatchewan. To follow the Lift to Hunt team, join us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. To order Live to Hunt DVDs and apparel, go to livetohunt.com. Next week's previews brought to you by Squincher, hydration that works. Next week, we're headed out with Kelsey to reap the benefits of a seven year wait for a rare mule deer tag in our home province of Saskatchewan. An adventure that's glorious fun for everyone involved, on the hunt for a buck that's worthy of such a wait. Partway through, Kelsey and I have the chance to help out one of my childhood heroes, Mr. Bentley Colbin, who has a coveted tag of his own. See you next week.